A short story by Paul McCann entitled Santa's Empathy. It was the night before Christmas and Santa was getting things ready before he would leave. And it was almost time for checking the list on his desk. As he always made a list of names of the good kids and, of course, the naughty kids. But he knew the good kids who always did their best under extreme hardship. And he made it also a special reference to the bad and naughty kids who who also had a difficult time. And deep down he knew that there's always some goodness in every child's heart and that's the reason why Santa made a provision and a second chance list for the naughty kids to become good. And as he sat there, Santa checked the list twice and then he put it away. And then he put on his big black boots as he did every year. And he thought about the kids, maybe who didn't have any shoes on their feet. And so he got up and he went out the door and he walked over to the Santa shoe storeroom and selected some extra shoes to place into the sleigh. And one by one, Santa placed the shoe boxes at the back of the sleigh where they would be safe. Suddenly it started to snow and he started to feel very cold. So he had to return into the house and put on an overcoat which then made him think about the kids who might not have any warm clothes. And so he made his way over to the Santa Claus warehouse and selected some warm clothes and placed those in the sleigh. The night was dark and the stars were twinkling in the sky so brightly that Santa thought about the kids maybe who were blind and couldn't see the stars. And so quickly he made his way to the library and he packed in some talking books and CDs all about the universe and all about the planets and stars, because he knew how valuable those books would be for blind children. Santa was getting a little bit hungry, so he went back inside the house and he warmed some milk and then he put some cookies onto a saucer from the pantry and he sat down and he started to have a little snack. And then he thought about maybe the children who didn't have any food or anything to drink. So he made his way to the Santa sweet shop and he grabbed some selection boxes and some bags of lollies, which he also placed into the sleigh. It was getting late now and Santa saw the reindeers were starting to get uneasy and running around and playing, for they knew it was almost time to fly. So Santa went into the house and he got some carrots for the reindeers and then he went back outside and called them one by one. Prancer, Dancer, Blitzen, Rudolph! Come! They all came over and racing around Santa, who gave them each a carrot, for they all loved Santa, and one by one they licked his face, which made Santa laugh. <laughs> oh, time to go! And as he did, he thought about the kids, maybe who didn't have a pet or never knew the love of an animal. And so he started to make his way to the small animal farm that he had inside one of the stores in Santa Toyland. And there he got some bunny rabbits and guinea pigs and puppies and kittens and he put them into the sleigh. Now it was only a few hours to go before Christmas. So he went back into the office and he sat down at the desk and he made some last minute notes. And his thoughts he scribbled down about the kids maybe who were in need of something special. Which made him go back inside to the treasure chest and he scooped up some Christmas magic, which he placed in a small sack that he put over his back, and then he carried that out into the sleigh. One by one, he harnessed up the reindeers to the sleigh, and he went back to turn off the lights inside the house. As he did, he thought about the kids who might not have a house or a bed to sleep in. And so then he went over to the outdoor living warehouse, and he selected a couple of tents, sleeping bags, and he placed those inside a sleigh with some blankets. And then he started to laugh aloud. Ho, 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 ho! Almost time to go! For he knew very soon they would be up, up and away in the sleigh. And he rang the jingle bells, and one by one he said to the reindeers, Away we go! And the reindeers lifted off into the sky. And it was almost Christmas Day, and he knew exactly what he had to do and how it would be done. The end.